Hi everybody, my name's John Harrop from Aptus Tutor, the place to come to for everything Aptus exam related. And today we have some sample answers for the Aptus for Teachers exam. And these are at a good B2 level. The words and phrases that you see highlighted, you can find more information about these on our website. The link is below. Also remember to subscribe so you don't miss any updates. Okay, well, we hope you find the video useful. I'm going to ask you three short questions about yourself and your interests. You will have 30 seconds to reply to each question Begin speaking when you hear this sound. What do you do after you finish work? As soon as I get home from work, I kick off my shoes, make myself a large cup of lemon and ginger tea and get down to any marking I've got to do. Then I go for a quick run, have a shower, make and eat dinner and spend the rest of the evening chilling out with my family. Describe your classroom. My classroom's on the first floor of the main building. I'm lucky as it's very light and airy and we have plenty of space. I've put up a lot of students' work on the walls, which makes the room colourful too. The only downside is that it overlooks the playground, which can be a bit distracting. Tell me about your colleagues. My colleagues are absolutely fabulous. I've been working at the school for 18 months and I can honestly say that I've never had a bad word to say about any of them. They're supportive and always ready to lend a hand. In my previous school that wasn't the case and I'm so glad I left. In this part, I'm going to ask you to describe what is happening in a picture. Then I will ask you two questions about it. You will have 45 seconds for each response. Begin speaking when you hear this sound. Describe this picture. There are six children sitting in a semicircle in a very colourful room with a young man who's probably their teacher. The seats are on different levels, like in a theatre. It could be a modern type of classroom. The kids look about eight or nine years old. Two of the girls are dressed exactly the same, so they might be sisters or maybe twins. The girl on the left is engrossed in her book and the others look as if they're discussing something they've read. How have reading habits changed since you were a child? Well, 20 years ago, almost all books were made out of paper and you'd see people reading books or newspapers on public transport. These days, when I look round, I notice fewer people reading at all. Most of them are on their phones, scrolling through their social media feed or playing games. I do see some people using Kindles or other e-readers. But in general, I'd say that there's been a sharp decline in the number of books being read. In this part, I'm going to ask you to compare two pictures and I will then ask you two questions about them. You will have 45 seconds for each response. 
Begin speaking when you hear this sound. Tell me what you see in these two pictures. Both pictures show young people involved in playing games. One's an individual game, while the other's a team sport. The first is a chess tournament and it looks like some type of competition between adults and children or a tournament that's open to all age groups. Whereas the second photo shows a group of seven or eight year olds playing football. There are both girls and boys playing and they look like they're having a great time. What after-school activities are popular in your country? In the school where I work, we offer lots of after-school activities. Many of them are focused on helping students to attain better test scores and the one most in demand is English. Of course, those are more popular with parents than with students. Then there are the non-academic activities, such as sports. The ones that have the biggest uptake are football, swimming and street dance, which has proved so popular that we even have a waiting list. What are the benefits of after-school activities? I think one of the most positive aspects of after-school activities is that they give children a way to connect with their peers in a new setting. Getting to know each other out of class makes them feel more like a group of friends, which in turn helps build confidence in class. Arts options such as drama and music can help get kids interested in new fields. And even when the activities are academic in nature, they're often more fun than real classes. In this part, I'm going to show you a picture and ask you three questions. You will have one minute to think about your answers before you start speaking. You will have two minutes to answer all three questions. Begin speaking when you hear this sound. Look at the photograph. Tell me about a time when you had a stressful situation with your students or colleagues. How did you feel about it? What are some of the ways you can deal with stress? You now have one minute to think about your answers. You can take notes if you want. You now have two minutes to talk. There are so many stressful situations that I've had to face during my teaching career that it's really difficult to choose just one. So I'll talk about my most recent experience, as it's still fresh in my mind. It was when I had to teach all my classes online due to the Covid situation. My school introduced this from one day to the next and I was totally unprepared. Stressed out doesn't even begin to describe how I felt. Suddenly I had to learn how to use breakout rooms, share screens, find interactive online activities and on top of that I had to teach the students how to do it too. I've never been that comfortable working with technology and I felt completely overwhelmed. I often had to ask my colleagues for help. One of the best ways to deal with stress is deep breathing. I learnt that in my yoga class. When you take deep breaths, it sends a message to your brain to calm down, reduces your heart rate 
and lowers your blood pressure. I also find that listening to classical music can really help. So I play it in the background while my students are reading or writing. Thanks for watching. We hope that you found the video useful. Remember, we've got lots more exam material and exam practice on our website. Remember, we've got lots more Aptus exam practice on our website at www.aptustutor.com. See you soon.